I'm going to try something a little different this week. I'm going to try a video instruction for the vice squat pattern. This week it's a trout crack. You may have seen Eric Philp tie it at our Saturday demo. It's a John Wilson pattern. It originated in Arkansas. And if you're familiar with Arkansas and the White River, you know that sow bugs are a big deal down there. <clears throat> But we got sow bugs on the bighorn and on the big thompson, so this is a interesting pattern I'm, I'm looking forward to trying. Tying it with a monofill. This is a monofilament. Come on, focus. 0 .006, which is the equivalent of <coughs> 5x. And it's a little different tying with monofilament, but it's a good thing to have some practice doing. You'll see it... Uh, in use on some scuds and a lot of saltwater patterns. It's a little bit slick so you want to stretch it a bit and keep it tight when you put it on the hook and make sure you don't bump your bobbin. The dubbing I'm using is a super fine kind of a very very pale pink and you'll see these things in tans, light olives, pale yellows going to get a real thin dubbing noodle and I'm going to try and keep it nice and smooth and just go back in one layer if I'm good at guessing the amount of dubbing I need. When I get to the back, uh, you'll notice on some other videos that they tie these things, they'll tie the shell back in at the front and wrap to the back and finish at the back. Yeah, it's making it a little harder than it needs to be. This is D-Rib. Nymph size brown, and you want to tie it in with the flat side down. Now you can, if you want to be efficient with your materials, you can just tie it in as a stub there, or you can just put a little bit out the front. But I'm going to try and tie it in behind all the dubbing and down on the hook. A couple wraps, and then move forward to turn and get a nice. 90 degree rib on it. And continue forward. If you've ever taken a stomach pump to a trout and got a sow bug, you notice that they got a very dark stripe down the back. So this shell back is a great way to imitate that. And it's a nice quick little pattern. I'm going to tie a whip finish and don't go very tight. This 5X will break especially if it gets nicked. So just get a decent little whip finish, pull it snug, and it probably would be a good idea to put a little bit of head cement or super glue or just a touch on those monofilament wraps. Now I'm just going to trip trim the butt section short. There's a nice slender trout crack. If you were to tie this with hare's ear or something like that you'd get a nice shaggy uh, fly. Um, experiment with a bunch of different materials. I think it's the brown stripe down the back that makes this fly and then other than that just go for the color you want. And that's the trout crack. <laughs>